Governor Wike under serious attack and fire as unknown government plans to do this to him. Welcome to God's Loves You channel. If it is your first time, please subscribe and put on your notification bell. In that way, you'll be able to know when I upload a new video. In this channel, I bring to you happenings in Nigeria and in the whole world as it is happening. I'm bringing it to you. If you want to be enjoying it, turn on your notification bell, subscribe so that you'll be able to get more information information on what is happening in Nigeria. Now, two days ago, we all heard what happens in Owere prison, how the same unknown government. Now, the question we will be asking ourselves is who are those people who sponsor these people? In a recent interview with the governor of Imo State in the person of uh, Hope Dima, he disclosed he allegedly blamed the government and politicians for sponsoring those people which means they know more about it and believe me if you are a beer from watching this uh, video or listening to this uh, news i want you to believe that this unknown government we are made or established to attack esn and IPOP and Biafra entirely, but unfortunate for them, it backfires and everybody is hearing it. All of them that was against IPOP, against Nandikano, against Eastern Security Network, they are confessing. Was it not two days ago, Rafael Wazurike honestly supported Eastern Security Network and Mazin Nandikano for the first time? So, government set another police facility ablaze in Imo State after the attack in Owere prison. Another police station has been set ablaze in Imo State, Nigeria Southeast, barely 48 hours after some government launched a daring attack on the police headquarters in the state. News agency of Nigeria, NAN, reported. The unknown government on Tuesday attacked the police division in Ehime Mbano in the south state and burned down some vehicle. The police spokesperson in Imo State, Orandu Iboku, confirmed the attack on the police facility. The police headquarters and the correctional center in Imo were attacked by unknown government on Sunday with some inanimate escaping in the process. The latest attack occurred few hours after the Vice President Yemi Osibanjo, the former Inspector General of Police Muhammad Adamu, and other government uh, functionary visited the state to inspect the attack facility. The police person, Mr. Ibe Ibeoku, a superintendent of police, said no life was lost in the attack. Yes, I can confirm to you that the police facility was attacked today by bandits. So, now... You know, it's just like when you are planning something bad against another person and it backfires on you. This is exactly what is happening in Nigeria now. And a lot of people are saying different things. I read about analysis on this and somebody was saying that this unknown government are the innocent people trying to revenge on the destruction of their properties during the NSAS campaign program. Some are saying that it's unemployed youth, that they are seeking vengeance. Some are saying, like uh, Governor Hopus Odima in his interview, is allegedly blaming the government and the politicians for sponsoring this. And others are saying that unknown government are Fulani in disguise. Some are saying that unknown government are instant security. Some are saying they are um, IPOP. Now, this is confusion. The people that established this organization, they know why they did it. They know whom they are and they know their obligation. I, I think uh, you people, maybe you might have not known or known about this, that the uh, UK Nava worship have arrived in Nigeria. Now, what are they coming to do? So, a lot of things is going on in Nigeria right now. A lot of strange, unbelievable insecurity in Nigeria. This is the first thing that President Muhammad Buhari should have addressed before going for a medical checkup in UK. So, this is what I bring to you as I see right now. 
uh, Governor Wike, that is the governor of River State, is in highly danger and attack as on go on no government plan to deal with him mercilessly. This is the news I bring to you. If you like this channel, if you like what you heard, please subscribe, put on your notification bell. I'll be bringing updates about happenings in Nigeria that it is happening and bringing it to you so that you will be informed. Remember, they say information is knowledge. When you are not informed, you are deformed. And when you are deformed, eventually you may enter into problem. Thank you so much for watching once again. Until we meet again in my next video. Bye-bye.